tools matter. Now, for design tool, the right design tool for the right design job matters the most. That is why in this video, I will not tell you if Adobe XD is better than Figma or vice versa, but I will compare them in four distinct categories so that you can actually pick the one that will suit you the most depending on the project you have. The ability to collaborate with other team members is very important when you are a designer working on a project because a lot of the constraints will come from other people besides you. And which is why I will recommend Figma if you are going to be working as a designer in a small to medium team size. The reason for it is twofold. First is because Figma is browser based, unlike Adobe XD, you do not need to have a specific operating system like Windows or Mac to actually use it. Meaning if your developer colleague is using Linux, but they want to still give you feedback on your design decisions, they can. While in Adobe XD, they can. They have to have either a Mac or a Windows. The second reason that Figma is better is because of its command functionality. What Figma offers that Adobe XD doesn't is live commenting where any kind of a team member you are working with in the project can actually comment on your designs without having Adobe XD installed. And they can just be a viewer and basically tell you what they like or dislike about your design solutions which I believe actually makes things very easy because you do not need to go use another software like Google Docs to capture everybody's feedback. Figma can be its own tool with its version history and also its ease of use for commenting and giving feedback. Hey guys I hope you are enjoying this video and if you haven't already please smash that subscribe button below so that you will get a notification when I release two more videos each week like this that will help you become a better designer. Now enjoy the tutorial. If you are a UX designer who is going to be working with graphic designers and illustrators a lot more in the next project, you will have to invest in Adobe XD instead of Figma. Most of the companies actually invest in Adobe Suite if they are going to be doing a lot of illustration edits or image edits, meaning they will use Illustrator or Photoshop. Now, if you are going to be interacting with those other types of designers, they will be using parts of the Adobe Suite program and it will be very hard to actually fetch what they create as documents and put them into your Figma. They will have to upload it, you will have to download and then import and you are going to be doing this dozens of times a day or at least couple times a week. Whereas if you were to invest in Adobe XD, you could take advantage of the Creative Cloud so that fetching and uploading files would be seamless and would take no time for you. If you are going to be doing solely prototyping work, meaning you are doing high fidelity design and also adding interaction between screens, I would advise for you to use Adobe XD instead of Figma. The reason for this is that once you are doing interactions, Still, Adobe XD's functionality of auto animate is more intuitive than smart animate than Figma, meaning it is much easier to add auto animations on Adobe XD as of 2022 for me. The second reason is that in Adobe XD for interaction design, you can add multiple interactions to an element, while on Figma, you cannot. And as the project scales, this becomes much more important because you will end up with having less screens on Adobe XD than Figma, so you will need to manage a lot less and save time. It is important to pick a tool that is popular, and the reason for it is, if a tool is significantly more popular than the other one, it might have more designers that are much more passionate about building these tools for the rest of the designers because a lot of Adobe XD or Figma's benefits come from its plugins that are built by the community. So it's very important to find a tool that is popular or is becoming more popular over time so that you will still reap the benefits of getting plugins that are up to date that you can use to automate your design work so you can be much more efficient which is why 
I want to share with you this study that UX Tools did in 2021. Not only what they found is interesting, but also how many people they got feedback from. So they did this in 2021, like I said, and they had roughly 3000 participants across all the world. And most of the participants were either a product designer, UX designer or UI designer. And if you are asking about their basically responsibilities most of them work in building web apps or mobile applications and they were mostly three to five year meaning mid-level to senior level designers and they asked them a bunch of questions such as what kind of tools you use for whiteboarding etc but for our work i'm mostly thinking to show you about the ui design and they found that for UI design, the most popular tool in 2021 was Figma. And this is how many people use it. And then there is Sketch and then Adobe XD. But look at the ratio between the difference between even Figma and Sketch. It's almost more than double its size, I think. At least maybe triple its size. And that suggests to you that how Figma is becoming more popular over time. And this shows actually how sketch was very popular in 2017 and then it got less popular over time and then if you look at figma which is the orange line it's just growing meaning that it will have a much more active base that will still keep chugging out plugins and the application will just get more popular probably in the next few years so it is a good idea to pick figma if you want a robust community all right thanks so much for watching this video guys i really appreciate it and I'm also attaching two more videos to this video so that you can keep learning on how to become a better UI UX designer. Make sure you watch them. I believe they will be very useful for you.